read this 365 day devotional titled into his marvelous light this is brought to you by a peculiar people with elizabeth as a as the anchor this month's theme is my god who made me understanding our relationship with god and experiencing him on a personal level cannot happen without understanding him as the creator as the source of all things as the one who made us and has a purpose for us join us and be blessed text is taken from Psalm 46. We're reading the entire chapter. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. A river brings joy to the city of our God, the sacred home of the Most High. God dwells in that city, it cannot be destroyed. From the very break of day, God will protect it. The nations are in chaos and their kingdoms crumble. God's voice thunders and the earth melts. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. Come see the glorious works of the Lord. See how he brings destruction upon the world. He causes wars to end throughout the earth. He breaks the bow and snaps the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. This particular scripture I'm sharing with you has been on my mind for, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks, thereabout. And I have a, um, like a wall tattoo here in my place that is from verse 10, be still and know that I am God. And every time I look at it, it just keeps reminding me, I didn't want to put it up before because I was thinking, oh, there's a lot of things that space is getting crowded. But I said, why not? I'm going to put it up. I got it because I love this verse. And yesterday, my sister was speaking with me. I saw something on her post, another verse from this um, passage. And it was like a rephrase of the verse. It says that God is within her. She will not fall. And that's from verse 5 that says, God dwells in that city, it cannot be destroyed. And I've just been pressured to talk about this with someone. And I thought, why not? I'll share it with you here. This particular scripture, this entire chapter, came to me as God our refuge, God our refuge, God our refuge, God our refuge. If I have God, I have everything. That kind of thought, like if I am with God, I will remain standing despite the things that are going on around me, despite what is going on in the world. Even if heaven and earth should shatter and crumble, if I am with God, I am safe. That kind of thought. And going through this passage, reading it again in your own time, I hope God gives you more revelations on who he is to us. More than once in this scripture, you see it mentioned, the Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. You see that particular scripture repeated that the Lord of heaven's armies, do you know any warrior, any general, any commander higher than that? On this earth, in heaven above, in hell below, wherever, can you think of one person, one, one spirit, one power, one principality that can stand against the Lord of heaven's hands? And this God 
lives within you. This God calls you mine. This God gives you the the leverage, this this access to him, to call him father. That is who you have on your side. That is who you have holding your hand. That is who you have as a refuge. That is who you have as a fortress. He made me, I am the apple of his eyes. Wake up and tell yourself that every morning. I have God, I have everything. I have God, I have everything. I have God, I have everything. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Our Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for bringing us together today to listen to your word. We thank you for this revelation you've given us in your word. We thank you for this access that you've given to us by dying on the cross and redeeming our souls. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done for us, for keeping us, for protecting us, for giving us even this opportunity to speak with you to hear from you lord we say thank you from the bottom of our hearts in jesus name father we have been reminded in your words today that you are a refuge and that you are within us we will not fall we have been reminded that we should be still and know that you are god no matter the circumstances going on in our lives we have God and we have everything. Thank you, Lord, for this reminder. May your name be praised in our life and in everything that has to do with us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for listening to this podcast episode. Don't forget to share with as many people as you can. Have a nice day. Bye.